now. Shut up. Comrades, we're here today to take a vote on strike action. Yes! yes. But before we have a show of hands for that, let's have a show of hands from all those who fought in France, all those who stood side by side with your comrades and watched your comrades fall. Raise your hands. The blood shed on Flanders' fields. The sweat of your brows. Who reaps the rewards? Is it you? No. 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 Is it your wives? No. no. Well, who then? Do they stand among us? No. no. Or do they sit at home, comfortable, with a full belly? while you scrape to find yes, enough yes, to put yes, shoes yes, on your yes, children's yes, feet. Yes, yes. And what is the reward they offer you for your sacrifices made? A fucking cut in your wages. That is your reward. Raise a hand, all those who want to strike. Yes. 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 Shelby. Cheers, Thomas. Good health to you. Crown of a prince. Soon to be king, I'd bet. You don't bet. No. These past few days I've been speculating. About what? One of my union comrades is a sister. Works in the telegraph office at the BSA factory. She says over the past week they've had messages coming up from London to the brass, from Winston Churchill himself. Something about a robbery? A robbery of national significance, it said. She found a list of names left on the telegraph machine. And on that list was your name and my name together. What kind of a list would have a name of a communist and a name of a bookmaker side by side? Perhaps it's a list of men who give false hope to the poor. The only difference between you and me, Freddy, is that sometimes my horses stand a chance of winning. You know, there are days when I hear about the cuttings and beatings that I really wish I'd let you take that bullet in France. Believe me, there are nights I wish you had. On three! On three! On two! Three! Down! Quick! Breathe, Danny! Breathe! I got to go, mate! Danny! Danny! Danny, you're home. We're all home in England. You're not in France. You're not an artillery shell, Danny. You're a man. Hey! You're not a whiz-bang. You're a human being, Danny. 
You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Stop. Stop. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, hell. Did I do it again? He did it again, Danny. <laughs> you got to stop doing this, man. It's all right. Oh, God, Mr. Shelby, I'm sorry. It's all right. You go home to your wife now, Danny. And get all that smoke and mud out of your head, eh? Yes, Mr. Shelby. I'm sorry. Go on. <laughs> Mr. Shelby, you have to do something about it. Damn right, Harry. You pay the Peaky Blinders a lot of money for protection. You're the law around here now, Tommy, aren't you? Maybe you should put a bullet in Danny Wizbang's head like they do with mad horses. Maybe you'll have to put a bullet in my head someday, too. Bring the bill to the Peaky Blinders. We'll take care of it. <laughs>